Powering says how to deal with obsessive thoughts for craving attention of a toxic person. Um, it, it doesn't make sense what you're saying, uh, Powering. And because you say how to deal with obsessive thoughts. Obviously, you mean intrusive thoughts or continuous thoughts for craving attention of a toxic person. That's that's very easy. It's like you're saying, how do I control obsessive thoughts about eating shit? Well, use your reasonability, reason, logic. This is shit. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me vomit. It's not good. It's something I don't want to be around. It stinks. It's just not hygienic. It doesn't make me feel good. It's hazardous. I don't feel good being around it. What else do you want? It's very simple. I don't understand. Why would you crave an attention from a toxic person? You got to look what is your need. Maybe you need some financial support. I don't know because it doesn't make sense. Why would anybody says, how can I stop the obsessive thoughts about hitting my head to the wall? Well, because it hurts. You don't have to listen to it. You can let the thoughts be there. But you don't have to comply to what the suggestion of the thought is. You see, it's not about how to deal with the obsessive thoughts about wanting attention for a toxic person. It's about understanding what the relationship between thought and you is. You are under the impression that thought has a message that thought knows more than you that thought is intelligence that when thought shows up you're bound to comply it's all nonsense thought is no different than a fart it's like saying i must smell that thing because it just happened to be there and i must go ahead bend over and let's start smelling there is what do you do when that happens you say oh I gotta go away because it's a natural reaction to something that is obnoxious. Thought is the same. Thought is also obnoxious. Your thoughts are different than thoughts. Your thoughts are the ones that consciously you select a certain information out of your con consciousness in order to serve you to present something, do something, learn something, design something, produce something, calculate something, figure out something. That's your thought. But other thoughts thoughts, transient thoughts, intrusive thoughts. These are thoughts that you have no interest in. They did not show up because of your interest or request. They showed up on their own and their relationship with you is that they are simply refuse. They are simply need to be gotten rid of. How? You can't control thoughts from showing up, but how you can deal with them is to ignore them. Understand that they show up 80, 90,000 times a day, but you are under no obligation to think of them as anything more than a refuse, feces, exhaust of the production and the function that the brain on daily basis has, which is producing thoughts. It produces thoughts and you are above thoughts. You are the selector. You can choose if there is any use to them or not choose them. Uh, they keep producing and then you see if they are of any use and mostly they are not. Therefore, you diss them. Your negative thought produces a certain, your negative mind produces a certain thought. And then there are positive unwanted thoughts that showed up, like the things that you comes to you and you use it for invention. And then there are the same way there are negative thoughts that are not for any use. So when the thoughts show up that you didn't ask for them, some of them could be related to some idea that you want to invent. So you pick what what's useful to me, what's not. Otherwise, other than them being there for you to select based on your judgment, if they are useful or not, they have no other role. They have no mandate. They have no deity. They don't come from any supernatural. They, they're just farts. Among these accidental and uninvited pop-up thoughts, somebody might invent a engine of an aircraft or someone could maybe see an induction motor like Tesla did. But then when it goes completely rogue and in the hands of the negative brain, negative side of mind, then you quickly got to recognize that that is not a thought that could be of use in any kind, shape or form. It is not to be used to come up with the idea that helps the humanity or 
create something or uh, invent something or continue what I was thinking about the formulation that came to my sleep. These are all random stuff that you have the ability to choose from them because you are above thoughts. You are the superior being. You are the controller. You are the quality control. You are the boss of thoughts, not the other way around. So you simply measure them against your core principles, your values, your gatekeeper, your wise advocate, your super consciousness, the stuff that you believe in and that you identify with, that you have decided, this is what I am, this is what I'm all about. That's your values, that you're keeping it safe. And these pop-up thoughts, irrelevant thoughts, negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, OCD thoughts, all kinds of different weird intrusive thoughts that show up, you gauge it against your values and you say, ah, this is irrelevant to me. Whatever it may be about any topic or subject, it's irrelevant to the values that I have. Therefore, because they're irrelevant, I choose them to go to gutter. I diss them, I recognize they're there, and I dub them irrelevant, and I continue on my way. This is how you deal with intrusive thoughts. Otherwise, there are all kinds of thoughts showed up. You're not supposed to be following thoughts. You're supposed to be judging thoughts and get rid of them by your behavior, which would be focusing on your daily things and things that you prefer and you things that you actually choose to pay attention to because you're the boss. That's how you deal with it.